Okay, Gun Collector 007 here with just the new acquisition I just picked up. And uh, those of you guys who have been watching my channel for a while, uh, you've seen this one before. This is my North American Arms uh, 22 Magnum. And one of my favorite guns. Uh, this one has the original wood grips on it. Sometimes I put uh, rubber cobblestone grips on it. But um, had this gun about five years now. Love it. It's what I call the church gun or wedding gun. It's easily concealed in a, in a pocket or inside breast pocket of a suit if you're going you know, to a function or something like that and no one knows you have it. So like I said, this is the North American Arms. This is the 22 Magnum. Um, this one also comes with a separate cylinder, which will be uh, five shots of 22 long rifle so if that's what you wanted to choose with that so but 99% of the time I just uh, carry it with the 22 uh, Magnum and this is a single action gun it's made here in the United States in Utah it's a, a gem of a gun very very uh, high quality gun and it says Provo Utah North American Arms on it 22 Magnum um, like I said, this is a single action. There is no trigger guard. So to shoot this, you would just pull the hammer back and then depress the trigger, and that's it. Once you uh, fire the shots, you pull the pin out, take the mag, take the mag. You take the uh, cylinder out. You put five more shots in. And for that, I normally carry this. This is a speed loader for a 22 Magnum right here. You just basically drop this in the cylinder, push this red button, and it drops uh, five shots of 22 Magnum in there. So I've had that for quite some time until I ran across this one the other day. And this one is also a North American Arms, pretty much the same exact gun. It's one and five eighth inch barrel, or one and one eighth inch barrel, I should say five shot and this is a 22 magnum although you can see the difference this one has the pocket holster so although these have been around for a long time they're kind of new to me so this one basically the way this works is you just stick this in your pocket and once it's in your pocket it looks like you're carrying a knife or something like that so very very concealable it's a deep carry and to work it you just simply go like this snap it back into place and then you have actually a very large uh, grip on it right there. So you have this, it's cobblestone kind of a texture to it. And, and that's it. So as you can see, this is again, it's what they call, call a last ditch self-defense gun. The sights on these guns are both very, very basic. And, uh, but again, it's five shots of 22 Magnum. And the idea is to stop a, a bad guy. That's it. And to uh, close this, there's uh, these little buttons on the side here. You just take them and you just fold it down. Now if you notice I have this set for left pocket carry so um, if I was going to carry this a lot of times it would be a backup gun so I'd have my primary gun uh, probably an appendix carry inside the waistband and if I wanted this as a backup gun this would be tucked into my left pocket if I needed uh, to get to it. So, you know, two great guns by North American Arms. And this holster, uh, I forgot where I got this. I got this on, on eBay. This is a great holster. This fits the, uh, the North American Arms like to a T. And it has this little snap and it holds five extra 22 Magnum rounds in there. So really, really quality leather work. And that's it. I haven't done a gun review in a while. Um, I actually have a couple of guns that I have picked up. I just uh, haven't had a chance, but I'll be doing more gun reviews. Uh, you know, the name of the channel is Gun Collector 007, and we've been doing a lot of knives and motorcycles and flashlights and things like that. I do have a couple of giveaways coming up, too. And, uh, and that's it. But I just want to give you uh, guys if uh, you know, a quick look at this. I'm sure probably 95% 90, of you guys have seen this type of... Uh, uh, you know clip on holster uh, holster grip um, but for those of you who don't if you look for something a little different and you don't feel like carrying it in a regular standard holster and you don't want it just floating around in your pocket this is a great idea so gun collector 007 signing off don't forget to like share and subscribe take care